Doña Silvestra, Doña Silvestra, Doña Silvestra, Doña Silvestra, Doña Silvestra. Oh, yes, Pedro. What is it? For you know, the drain man from the Gupan brought them earlier. Oh, thank you. Have Leonor and her friends returned from the picnic? Not yet, Doña Silvestra. They better be on their way back here. You may go. Oh, wait. The guests should be arriving soon. Tell Dorai that the merienda ought to be set at the garden. Well, that was a lovely picnic. Oh, the food was so delicious. Uh, did you enjoy it more? Well, I enjoyed it more. Um, are you looking for something or should I say someone? I'm looking for someone. Uh, and let me guess. It's really so much. Oh, but never mind. That was a lovely picnic, Leonor. <laughs> what funny conversations we had. <laughs> I was laughing at all your stories, especially yours, Amor. Um, Amor. I wonder where they are right now. Who? Who else? The boys. Can you think of other things, Amor? Oh, Maria, do you even have to ask? <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is what I truly hate. Again, we're being made to wait. The boys are late. I wonder why. What could be their alibi? Oh, you never get used to them, Amor. This happened many times before. Let's just talk some more. Why don't we? But the odds to do. If you ask me, but we've been talking and talking. Let's do something else. Faustina is right. We've been talking, Maria. Well, but I do have a better idea. Elena, Amor, would it be okay if both of you sing for me today? Well, how can I say no? It is your birthday, Lenore. Um. I don't mind singing while waiting. For you, our dearest friend, Leonor. <laughs> Thank you. 
Exactly. What have you been saying about us? We can tell. That's okay. We were also talking about you anyway. <laughs> we can't tell you either. <sighs> um, but how about you, Francisco? <laughs> Wait, tell. Were you talking about? Anybody in particular? Hmm? Well, <laughs> since you asked more, I happen to be. Ladies, gentlemen, let us remind ourselves that today is not about us. It is about Leonore. So let's turn our attention on our dearest friend right here. <laughs> oh, Lenore, it just has to be said. I can't help but mention how lovely you look on this special occasion. What a beautiful dress that you wear with such grace. And if I may ask, there's a glow in your face, which should be the case. 
days, I must say, since this is truly your day, you're clearly more cheerful than you usually are. After all, friends have come, even those from afar. Just like me, I came all the way from Manila to celebrate the life of Miss Leonor Rivera. It is the built-in birthday of my childhood friend. This is something I won't fail to attend. To me, your presence means a great deal. The word can explain just how happy I feel. To be with you all, whose friendship I treasure, it's one special gift that no one can measure. Oh, oh sweet Lenore. But, 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 I can only imagine how happy you'd be when you know who shows himself to be. You might blush even more when you see him later, giggle with me and be giddy all over. Well, look at her now. She's turning a bit red, clearly, because of what you just said. Oh, our sweet Lenore, she is truly in love. We all know what she wishes for from God up above. I wish for the happiness of all that I care for. Especially Jose. <laughs> <laughs> Good health, long life, and so much more. Of course, if I may be honest with you, I wish for my own happiness too. To be with Jose. <laughs> <laughs> Speaking of him, is he coming at all? Look at the sun. It's beginning to fall. Would it dump in your mood if it does not arrive? If that happened, God forbid, would you be as alive? At this time, he should be anywhere near. I'm not worried one bit. Jose will be here. That's a promise he made. It's a promise he'll keep. Today, I have no reason to weep. Indeed. No tears will ever be shed. You all heard what Leonor just said. Jose, her prince charming Jose, is surely on his way. The man who will complete this wonderful day. He's achieved quite a lot. Though only 21, for someone so young, it's not yet done. I heard he shone academically while studying at the Santo Tomas University. The same man was greatly admired by many, a true source of pride of our dear country. He should be emulated by all of our men, a scholarly person who is great with a pen. Oh yes, all his letters to me are beautifully written. Reading each one makes me feel I'm in heaven. He's very romantic and certainly wise. Therefore, I heed all his advice. What advice? What, 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 what advice? Advice on loving our great nation, where we Filipinos suffer so much oppression from these cruel Spaniards who treat us unjustly. This is something we must never take lightly. Shh! Be careful, Lenore, with the things that you utter. You may just end up putting yourself in danger. Do speak with caution. We all must be wary. Because we live in these times that are not at all friendly. But why? It is the truth. It may be the truth, and we don't disagree. Their cruelty to us, we clearly see. But Jose, as we know, has been rather daring. And now, as a consequence, the friars are fuming. Of that, I'm aware, and yes, I'll be cautious. I heard of their anger. I know it is serious, but for now, let's be merry. Let's go to the garden. Let's hear more songs from those cute little children. Um, Leonore, do we just leave these baskets here? Oh, let me put them in the kitchen. Okay, I'll help you. Lenore, is there anything wrong? From Jose! Beautiful roses from Jose! <laughs> it's 
beautiful, truly. A very sweet of you. So, shall I go ahead now? <laughs> oh, yes. I will follow you in a minute. Keep it. Bye. Dear Lenore, very soon you and I will again see each other. As I write this note, I cannot wait much longer to see you, to hold you, to feel your sweet face, and for us to be locked in each other's embrace. See you soon. Very soon. Oh, Jose, don't keep me waiting. Leonore, what are you still doing here? All your guests are at the garden. Mama, look, flowers from Jose. <laughs> yes, they arrived this afternoon. He is romantic. Aside from being so many other things. Like being headstrong, being reckless. There you go again, Mama. I just wish he would lessen his excessive bravado. The reason these friars see him now as a foe. Leonore, look around you. Racial discrimination is true. But sometimes I wish we were born Spaniards too. But Mama, this is our country and we are Filipinos. Filipinos who are not even free in our own country. So many restrictions, left and right. The end to all of this is nowhere in sight. This is all bound to change. Jose told me so. Life in the Philippines will be better, I know. Believe him in this. Let's be optimistic. We will not be forever pathetic. He is a dreamer. And he is not realistic. Why could one be so idealistic? On his part, I wonder. Is this all just a whim? Whatever it is. The friars despise him. I don't care what those friars feel. Jose is sincere. His own anger is real. But let's drop this topic. It's my birthday, remember? What I simply ask for are joy and laughter. Oh, my sweet child. Please do forgive me. I just can't stop worrying about our family. Jose's poor mother. Doña Chodora was imprisoned before, and his brother Fashano's moves are being watched closely even more. Jose and his family know what they're doing. They'll be alright, and he needs to stop worrying. I love you much, too much, and perhaps that's a trouble. But you can never love me enough. When you were married and live away from us, I feel Terribly awful! I'd still live with you and Papa. Do you know that? I'll miss your playing and most especially your singing. Would you? Oh, while we are alone, let me now give it this. I waited until you've become a young miss. This once belonged to your grandmother. And I pass it to you, my sweet, lovely daughter. It's a gorgeous comb. Thank you. And this was even more special because this was flawless. A perfect match for the new dress I ordered for you. It sure is. Why don't you change into that? Thank you. It is very beautiful. But this one is fine. This is what I had on. When Jose became mine, on that special night, I was wearing this dress. On that special night, when I gave him my yes. Well then, I say no more, as you become sentimental. To argue about the dress is just inconsequential. But in all other things, Obi, you must. I'm your mother who cares someone you should trust. 
Let's join the guests, Leonor. <laughs> Sylvester! <laughs> Leonor! <laughs> hola! Hola! Who is that? Is that... Oh, it's the guest! My cousin Sylvester! My dearest niece, Leonor! Who else? Why? You didn't recognize me? You... You... You look... Why? Thank you, cousin! <laughs> However in the world did you get here? In the train with cousin Spachano, Antonio, and Jose. Jose? <laughs> yeah. Well, where are they? Hmm. Gossiping with somebody. Over there at the plaza. In the train, they did nothing but that, Sylvester. They just kept on yucking, which they now always do. <laughs> oh, I almost forgot happy birthday to you. Thank you, Tia Victorina. And so, how have you been? Oh, I've got wonderful news that I'm itching to share. This will come as a shock. To you ladies, I swear, <laughs> do brace yourselves <laughs> for some news that is pleasant. <laughs> my cousin, Le my cousin, <laughs> Leonor, <laughs> I am happily pregnant. Que <laughs> horror! <laughs> but Victorina, you are, you are not married. Yes, you are right. I am not married yet, but. I've got the man like a fish in a net. <laughs> Marriage? <laughs> of course, we shall have our wedding, to which all of my friends I shall be inviting. <laughs> Victorina, you are... you are crazy! Oh, is that real? My novio's a Spaniard! What? Yes, you heard me right. He's a genuine Spaniard, and not just any Spaniard. No, he's a doctor, mind you. At the Palacio, he dines with Capitan General, too. How in the world did you do it? <laughs> it must be my rice powder. I am using more of it than usual. And what is his name? Minovio. I call him Bibi. Good God! Not the Bursho! Who? Yes, the Bursho. Two deaths. D E S. In his family name. So I conclude he must be a blue blooded Espanol. Are you not aware of his reputation in Manila? Whatever do you mean about my sweetheart, TB? Don't you know he only mingles with high society? I'm quite surprised. You don't look ecstatic. Wait till you hear his name. It's so aristocratic. Tibucho, Temprano, Thomas, Talio, De, De, Espandana, Leonor. Go and join your guests at the garden. Excuse me, Tia Victorina. I'll see you in a bit. <laughs> so as I was saying, my TB is blessing. He came to my life just when I started worrying <laughs> that I would grow old alone in this world. <laughs> Don't you, Victorina? <laughs> I love that's so sad, Doctor. Victorina! I hope he's a man of action, not of ideas. <laughs> TB? Oh! <laughs> Cousin, he is full of action, if you know what I mean. Well then, good for you, if he is what you say. This time, it is wise to just be that way. We don't know anymore which Filipino is really a traitor and a filibustero. <gasps> Shh! Sylvester, be quiet. You must not be heard. A 
tiger might hear you. Be careful, Sylvester. I am careful myself as a new Espanola. I wish Leonor would learn to like Spaniards. They are wonderful people. The best cousin. Unfortunately, he prefers Filipinos. My TV says we will live soon for Spain, where there are new friends I can gain. We just stay there forever. Away from this place. Away from these angels. An inferior race. Why has Leonor become so patriotic? This must be Jose's influence. Filipinos everywhere should think like the Spaniards. Dress me. Like the Spaniards, speak like the Spaniards, and, 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 um, uh, talk like the Spaniards! Yes! I will talk to Jose about his writings. <laughs> yeah. Good idea. Especially after the play that he wrote that attacked the Spaniards. What do you mean? What play? Uh, sit down, sit down, sit down. <laughs> Let me tell you. <clears throat> okay. Let me tell you. Oh, he is really looking for trouble. He is really looking for trouble. He does not even try to be subtle. He made fun of the friars in his most recent play, and the Spaniards, huh, of course, heard that news right away. <laughs> they got mad. Yes, they did. They were all in uproar. Huh. How such disrespect they can take anymore. After that, I decided not to mention his name. Huh. For who knows, I might take some share in the blame. Who said his son is head wrong? What a mindless thing to do. For the sake of my daughter, he must be careful too. I will confront him when I see him later. Yes, I will be frank and show him my anger. Huh. Speaking of the devil, here he comes. Pia Silvestra! Pia Silvestra! Good evening, Pia Silvestra. Where is your Lord? Jose! What is this dangerous nonsense I hear about you? Where is Leonor? You first answer my question! Has Tia Victorina been lying about me as lies. usual? Lies! Lies! They are not lies! What have you been up to? Nothing. I just go to play called Punto Al Pasi. That's all. Tell the truth. I saw the performance. I want first-hand information from you. All right. But don't say I didn't warn you. I'm ready for the worst. Okay. I just wrote about what we already know. The Spaniards who lead us are morally low. Our nation won't grow. As long as they're here, the Filipinos are bullied and we suffer from fear. But I went on to say, this won't last forever. Sometime in the future, this nation will prosper. Because the Filipinos' anger will burst like a dam. And badly defeated, those Spaniards will scram. As for their reaction, of course they get angry. They get hurt so deeply because they are guilty. It's all about the real score. That's all I wrote. Nothing more. Nothing more? Boy, you said plenty. With that play, you risk your own safety. All his impractical mm. ideas about patriotism and freedom. Don't tell me this agree, it's investor. I don't like how he does it! Jose 
Hey! You're so bold! You're so vocal and audacious! You know these times are dangerous! Aren't you afraid? I'll join the guests of the garden. I'll also join the guests. They'd be delighted by my storytelling. Unlike you, intellectual rebeldes who I feel find me quite uh, boring. Mm. Oh, oh. Mm. Mm. One thing more. Jose, if there is really no stopping you, write whatever you want for all that I care. But don't you mention me, Jose. Don't you dare. Go ahead and make fun of our Spanish leaders, but, do but don't make me the laughing stock of your ignorant readers. We were talking so freely with the Prince of Manila, forgetting that we are being joined by Victorino. We spoke too much and perhaps rather and to all the spy. Yes, no one must know our real reason for coming here. What is the real reason? As far as I'm concerned, I'm here to see you know. We are sending you off to Europe, if not now, very soon. What? But Kuya, what for? It's been quite dangerous for you here and for our family. You might get shot for your ideas about faith in our country. I fight because I want to defend our country's honor. If you experience real freedom, you can defend it better. So you must go live in Europe to grow even wiser. Observe the race closely. Keep your eyes wide open. Your thoughts about freedom to fight us to be here, in our country. It's not yet time to fight, Jose. Later, maybe. But right now, it still cannot be. Not many will know that you will be leaving. Few of our friends have now started planning. Then, soon when the boat will sail, you must leave for Europe without any train. I don't want to leave you. And what is your reason? I can't desert you, Nor. Desertion? This is no desertion. Jose, I understand your heart's passion. But the struggle is now more important than ever. Your love for Leonor shall have its time later. I just can't go. I love you, Nor. I want to get married. Your duty comes first. If I must go, allow me to get married before leaving. What? On my part, I have no objection, my son. Tio Antonio, I'm happy you approve. Of course, I approve. To me, it is fine. You're the great that mine. I am so much joy in your life when you and let you do it. No, that will be a distraction to say. There shall be no marriage. Kuya, I beg you to be reasonable. My decision you must honor, for I am your older brother. I have set aside 700 for your journey, Jose. And I will add 500 for good measure. Jose, do not lose sight of this endeavor. Use your money wisely and think of us always. And do not lose hope when you go through bad days. I cannot leave the Philippines. 
I understand. Just make it out. Never content. Just give it more thought. You will then see how you can help set the whole country free. Everyone is tearing my heart to pieces. How can I bear to live far away when I have every reason to stay? And that is, you know, how can I tell her? I can only imagine how much she will suffer. God! Oh, God! For loving one's country? Is this the price to pay? There must be some other, less painful way. What role I must play for my countrymen's sake? The things I must go through are so hard to take. I knew it. Leonor! Look who's here. Oh my, hi. Who's there? Leonor. Oh, hello, ladies. Hello, hi, Jose. Jose. Hi, Jose. Nice to see you. So. 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 So, Jose, tell us, why were you late? Hmm. You kept our friend here laying her waiting. Yes, that's right. Yes. Um, a more. Yes. I think we should give Lena a private moment. No. Let's go. I want to see them talk. No, let them talk private. A more. Oh, why? Let's go. I want to see them blushing. Oh, Elena, you never let me have any fun. <laughs> Goodbye, Jose. Goodbye, Elena. My Leonor. I'm so happy you came. Of course. And I'm happy to see you again. Oh, wait, you're sad. No. I'm fine. I'm just tired from the long trip. Shall we sit down then? Thank you for the beautiful flowers, Susan. I knew right away what exactly they meant. That today, on my birthday, I'd see you once more. The man I most profoundly adore. I was quite impatient while riding the train. My efforts to calm myself were in vain. I wish the train would run faster, hoping to get here much sooner. On my part, I just waited here patiently, for I knew you'd arrive with much certainty. I felt glad when I learned that you finally came. Happy to see that you look insane. And you look at you, already a lady. And time, as we know it, just passed by so quickly. The way you've changed is awe inspiring. 
Can it possibly ask you to stop growing? But it's wonderful to be 15. At this age, there is much to be seen. I've always looked forward to reaching this age. And I think I will be enjoying this stage. This is the Leonore that I want to remember. How I wish you would stay this way forever. With your liveliness, innocence, and sweetness. And not yet wounded by cruelty and sadness. Same here. I don't want you to change at all. A man who is so intellectually tall. The man who is so protective of me. With whom every moment I would like to be. A fountain of wisdom. Your mind is great. I am sure that for you, amazing things wait. What is your thing? Only time will reveal. But for now, it is only bliss that I feel. Once upon a time, she was just a young girl. An awkward little thing, but precious as a pearl. Years passed by. He was caught by surprise. He then softly whispered, How fast time flies. As she entered the house, he stood there in awe. Because it was now a young woman he saw. He is captivated and finds her so beautiful. With manners refined, she's become rather graceful. But beneath her outward voice and grace, her heart beats at a rapid pace, as if in a race faster than normal. She tr but she tries her best to be very casual. After all, she is already a woman. She tries to be so for her beloved man. Her beloved man who was longing to see her, to hold her, to feel her sweet face. The only woman he would like to embrace. Hey, Jose, nice to meet you, Jose. <laughs> Handsome, Fabian. Oh, it's just a secret. Oh, oh. Leonor, your friend said they would like to dance for everyone. Oh, yes, that's why. Right. Entertain. Oh. Let's move the furniture. Position. Find your partner. Silvestre, stop, Purina. Victorina, let the younger people dance. No, I just want to dance. No, stop, come I want to dance. She wants to dance, Victorina. No, she can't dance. Right. Okay, is everyone ready? Yes. Um, it's okay. You go ahead. I'll just watch. Nonsense, Eleanor. Jose, why don't you dance with her? I can't dance. What do you mean you can't dance? But I'm not in the mood to dance. Not in the mood. Not in the mood. Because. 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 What? I'm shy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, come now, Jose. Don't be shy. Just dance. Very well. You know, let's dance. Jose, take care of my daughter. Oh, that's so cute. Okay, are we all ready? 
Yes. Now, play the music. <laughs> Latonya Victorina would like to dance too. <laughs> Boys, come here. Stop dance with me. No, I don't want to dance. Dance with me. Dance with me. Dance with me. Dance with me. How dare you to say no to a lady? You have no manners. Dance with me. Come. I'm shy. Dance with me. Just dance with me. Dance with me, boy. No, no. Let go, Ru. Don't have any more dance. Just in my shadow. Dance with me. No. Come on. I'm tired. I don't want to dance. And you're playing it. Stay here. You dance. You dance. Come on, come! Dance with me, come here! Don't say no, please! You know what to do! Come on, let's dance! Come here! Um, excuse me, that is our place, can you? Now stop! Stop! You don't like, come on, come here! Come on, come here! 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 Come here!
Victorina! Please stop making a scene! Yes, me, you, Victorina, you're saving me. Leonor, there are more people who would like to give you a performance. Those kids, those adorable little kids. Lovely children. Come here, kids. Huh? Oh, they're so cute.
Thanks, Frankie. Oh, thank you so much. Oh, that's Bravo. That's Bravo. Thank you for those wonderful performances. Your Theo, Antonio, and I are touched by your laughter. And for those splendid dancing, we shall have dinner. Oh, yes. Very hungry. And for that, let's return to the garden. Men, let's return the furniture. I wish God would allow time to stop right now. But that can never be even if I swim. So tonight will just pass away like a dream. But there will be other nights like tonight when our feelings shall again unite. But this moment is what we've long wanted. So now, now it should not be taken for granted. But these times are filled with uncertainty. We don't know when that next time will be. Can you and I even set a date? Lenore, how long for me can you wait? Forever, Jose. Forever and ever. Forever? Sounds like a long time. If anything happens to me, and I cannot come back, will you still wait? I shall still wait. I don't mind waiting. But, Jose, what are you saying? If I cannot come back, for whatever reason, what will you do? Then I shall go to you no matter where you are, but nothing can happen. Nothing. You know, remember that my love will always be for you. Always, my darling. I have something to give you. only a locket that belonged to mother. Keep it and remember me every time you wear it. I shall wear this always. Thank you. Would it be too much? If I ask you something. Anything, my dearest. 
Would you mind if I keep a lock of your hair? Of course not. Would you like to have a, some of what Mama kept when I was little? Yes, I would. I certainly would. Hmm, well, it's here. Somewhere in this room. Aha! Here it is. Oh, but stop looking so sad. To your own self, you are being unkind. Letting these worries occupy your mind. These thoughts that you harbor are making you pout. For tonight at least, can you block them all out? About this, you know, of course, I should smile. It's your birthday. Let's go. Do you know Jose and Pasano must take the train back to Colomba tonight? But, Papa, they just got here. I is there anything wrong? What's going on? Oh, nothing. Uh, they just have to, they just have to deal with an unimportant matter. What is it? Take good care of yourself, you know. Adios, you know. Write to me, will you? I will. And you write to. Of course. Every day. Be careful. So long, my dearest. God be with you. Whatever happens, God bless. <clears throat> Adios, Tio Antonio. God bless you, Jose. Leonor. Ask your father. Please tell me the truth. I have a right to know. Jose is living for you. Um. Mm. 
Who said no? <laughs> no! <laughs> Come back! No! <laughs> he has to go for the good of every Filipino. Be upset before the party is over. No, Jose, Jose, no, no. come back, please. Jose, no, no. Take her to her room at once. It's cool, Papa. It's cool. It's cool for you and Mama not to even let me say goodbye. Come on, darling. Stop crying. <laughs> no. Jose! Jose! No! No! Jose! Antonio! Come back, please! Come back. He's doing it for our country. Please try to understand. Let me take you to your room. No. It's cruel, Papa. It's cruel. It's cruel for you and Mama. He's leaving me on my birthday. Jose is leaving me on my birthday. Forever. It's been a long time. If anything happens to me and I cannot come back, will you still wait if I cannot come back? For whatever reason, what will you do, Minor? Remember that my love. It will always be for you. Always, my darling. Thank <laughs> you. 